Today I want to talk a little bit about making stuff for the internet, you know, making videos, making content, putting stuff on YouTube, uh, while then also trying to live a low-tech, offline, relatively simple lifestyle and the struggle of those two kind of opposite paths. Let's get into it. So I'm not going to do my normal intro, but I'm Spencer. If you don't know me, welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, this is a bit of an odd one for you to stumble upon, but I'm happy to have you here. I'm sitting here just finishing off a cup of espresso right now. It's mid-afternoon here in Toronto. It's finished. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of thinking, and I wanted to make this video here for you guys today. Hopefully there's going to be very little cuts, hopefully no cuts in this video. Uh, and that's going to play into this video itself a little bit later. So just a little bit of my history on the channel. I've been posting here for just about a year now. Um, my first post in this, like, I've been posting consistently on here for just about a year. My first post where I started posting consistently was this one I did on hard bread, which is criminally underviewed if you ask me. And not because of me, because of the content. Like, I think it's so cool that hard tack, hard bread is still being produced by somebody here in Canada, here in 2024. So I linked that video above if you want to check it out, because go and check it out. Um, anyways, after that, I started posting on here pretty much two days a week, and I have just stuck to that this entire time. And it's been a lot of fun, and it's been so awesome to see how many people have enjoyed the content and have come to see what I'm doing around here. But it's also been quite tiring. Um, I've been posting on here, you know, this entire time, um, and I've not stopped working my full-time job. You know, I started this channel when I had a little bit less work because I work as a freelancer and there was more time. But pretty soon after that, like March or February even, the work picked back up and I found myself very busy again. And I was working, you know, a 60-hour work week or an even 70, 80-hour work week sometimes because it can be that much in the film industry. Plus adding on this 20-hour YouTube workload each week and... I found myself, you know, stopping and thinking, yeah, I'm on my screens too much. Like I'm not, I'm not always practicing what I preach. You know, I think it's tough, especially just for anybody, whether you're making stuff for the internet or you're just a consumer to find yourself offline too often because everything's online nowadays, right? Everything's been turned into an app. Since the invention of the smartphone, we've been carrying around a supercomputer in our pockets, which is constantly vying for our attention. And it's just hard to not find yourself on a screen. It's hard to peel yourself away from that as well. For me, it's just that extra layer. Like before I was on the channel, I was not po um, posting on the internet really at all. I didn't post on social media really. I had social media, but I wasn't really using it. And I was trying my best to be offline. And I found myself honestly more online since I've been doing this channel just because I have to be in order to make the videos, post them, and then engage with people in the comments. And it's been a struggle. And I haven't really been sure how to deal with it because as my workload has been progressing with the channel and with work, you know, it's coming to a head where I'm not burned out, but I am getting tired. I am finding myself being kind of exhausted and I'm aware like, yeah, dude, you're on a screen too much. You need to figure out a way to approach this that's gonna be better for you. So that's kind of had me, like this morning I was on the fence. I was about to post something on the community tab saying, you know, I'm going to go down to one video a week for now because I don't really, I need some space. I need to kind of have, have some time. I'm about to go into a big stretch of work where I'm working for basically 20 days in a row and I'm out of the province again. Um, so, you know, I knew that I had this coming up and I thought if I went down to one day a week, that might just be what I need. But I didn't feel too good about that because I have so many things I want to share. And if I go down to one day a week, I'm just not going to have the time. Like it's just going to, there's going to be too, too many ideas and I'm going to be posting them too slowly. There's going to be a huge backlog. And it kind of made me sit down today. I got a pen and a paper out and I started really writing down like, what was, what was my mission here? What do I want to do with this channel? What do I like to watch on YouTube? And how can I bring that here and do that in a way that feels good and is sustainable and allows me to have that balance that I'm looking for. So, you know, for me, that just means stripping down the content a little bit and having kind of a clear delineation of, of you know, the more in-depth content as well as 
some more raw content where it's just like this. You know, when I started the channel, I pretty soon came up with the idea to do these couch talks where I was sitting on my couch and it was a more low key style where I wasn't really editing it very much and it was more stream of consciousness, just kind of saying things as they came to me. And that was fun because that allowed me to get some of these ideas out that I had that I didn't need to go through the whole process of making a more structured, organized YouTube video with editing and everything else. I was able to just get those ideas out. But over time, I think just as I've been doing this, I have kind of got more and more invested in the editing and it's become more work, right? Like the editing has become, um, like those videos even, the couch videos, have involved more B-roll, have involved more elements and have become, you know, bigger operations than they originally were intended to be. They were intended to be very easy in a way for me to just remove the friction from getting the ideas that I want to say out on the internet. Um, not having all these barriers of I have to structure it, I have to edit it, I have to do all this. It was just make it and post it. And I've kind of gotten away from that. Um, and those videos have become almost as complex sometimes uh, as far as the editing is concerned as the main videos. So that is just become too much with my workload. And as I'm about to go into this stretch, I thought going down to one day a week was the move. So honestly, what I ended up coming to was, you know, just reflecting on what's the mission for this channel? What do I like? And when I first started watching like YouTube, it was back when it was the broadcast yourself era. I have to keep turning the brightness up on my camera because it's, it's getting dark outside right now. Um, it was the broadcast yourself era of YouTube. You know, people were just posting for the fun of it. There weren't YouTubers yet. It was just YouTube for YouTube's sake. I was on there as a kid posting little like tributes to animals with little slideshows of Google image photos of like bears and wolverines and stuff. And that was what YouTube was all about. It was just about sharing things that was fun for you. And I guess over time it, it's become more commercialized and more like TV and you know, that has changed the production value of it and the Mr. Beastification of the, the platform has occurred. And just like people push turning away from like hyper technology, hyper connectivity, I think people are starting to turn away from that and are wanting to see more stripped back, more raw content of people just talking and sharing their opinions and this kind of format, right? That's why I did the couch videos because that was the stuff that I always wanted to see. And you know, over time, the couch videos, I've just kind of been editing them more and more and they've become too much work for me. So I thought like, I got to get back to this type of video where I'm just talking to you guys one on one. You know, my favorite videos were when YouTubers would literally reach to the camera, you'd see them turn the camera on, they would do their, their talk, they would just talk and it would be completely unedited. There'd be pauses, there'd be messiness, there'd be noise. And then they would turn the video off and that would be the video. They wouldn't edit it whatsoever, or even cut that stuff out, they would just post it. And that's so sick. And I think there's still so much space for that on the platform, I love that. And I don't wanna stop making that. I don't wanna feel like I have to polish myself too much for this, right? I never wanna feel compromised in what I'm making or how I'm making it and um, for me, that is important to maintain that. So what I've come to is that I want to just start posting some of these videos more often. You know, it'll be a balance of these structured videos because there's always going to be a place for those. And I'm still going to do those very often because certain subjects I want to be more impactful. You know, I want to supplement the conversation like that, that I'm having by adding images and B-roll and whatever. And I want to structure my thoughts more there's always going to be a need for editing content to make it like stronger for for posting here but there's also this benefit to have the b-side element right to be just here with you guys and being clear about this stuff and i love that so i notice i'm running out of card space here i'm i my camera is almost full my voice is cracking i'm going into little boy mode but basically what i want to say is if you're in the same shoes or if you want to get into this posting here on the internet i think you need to just really get real about why i think you need to write this down you need to kind of come up with a mission and find what what am i doing here what's the point um 
and then figure out how to best do that. And don't just set it and forget it and then go about living your life and not really reflecting on it. You need to sit down and you need to, you know, revisit that from time to time. You need to make sure that you're not just setting it and then going months and months and kind of drifting away from your original intention and your original goal. I think you need to come back to these things from time to time and make sure that you are serving yourself and your mission appropriately. Um, that's what I'm going to make sure I do in the future. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm setting the intention that, you know, rather than going down to one video a week, which I, I would feel regretful about because there's a lot of things I want to say, I'm just going to loosen up the expectation of what I'm going to be doing on here. And I'm going to go back to having some more stripped down videos like this coming up here more often. And it's not just going to be me, you know, talking about my clothes. It's going to be me talking about anything that I could talk about in a more structured format, but in a not structured format. And I hope you guys are excited about that as well. I'm excited about it because it's freeing, you know? I don't know what it looks like to you guys to see me posting here. Um, you know, for me, before I was posting, to see somebody with like 20,000 or 25,000 subscribers, I would think like, oh, their life must be so different, but it's not. like. Nothing has honestly changed. My life is just the same as it was when I had 30 subscribers when I posted that hard bread video last year. I still work a full-time job. I'm still doing all this extra stuff. Uh, this is just an extra 20 hours a week for me to post here on YouTube two times a week. So I have to find a way to make it balanced. And for me, this is the approach. And I would encourage you, if you're doing the same, to do the same, to reflect on that, find out how to best approach it for yourself and go forward. That's all I have to say on this today, guys. I hope you like this. Let me know what you think of this format. If this is something that you watch generally and if you'd like to see more of this from me, that's is what I intend on doing either way, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.